There are days when Ben Coleman leaves the family home on Knoxwood Court just as the sun is rising. Autumn days when he takes to the paths of Anderson, South Carolina. Along freshly painted picket fences and down shady old lanes, Ben Coleman runs. I'm very relaxed. Nothing bothers me. I'm just off in my own little, little world where everything's perfect. He loves to run. A, a kid who we didn't think would ever walk, he just loves to run. 18-year-old Ben has cerebral palsy. He has limited control of his arms, and the stiffness in his legs makes it tough for him just to pick his feet up. He's had to sleep with a leg brace. He's had to undergo physical therapy. Still, Ben runs. And not just for the joy of it. Ben Coleman runs to compete. For the last five years, he's been on the cross country team at TL Hanna High School. Even if someone says, no, I can't, I like to be able to go, yes, I can. <laughs> Uh, it used to really bother me to have people saying, oh, look at that funny looking, funny walking kid. Now, yeah, they can say all they want, I'm still going to do what I do. From his earliest days, what Ben Komen wanted most was to be on a team. But Ben and his parents could not find a team that would let him play. They were happy to have him there if he was sitting on the bench, or they were happy to have him there if he was satisfied being the water boy. He wasn't satisfied, and neither were we. Then at the end of seventh grade, Ben learned that eighth graders were eligible for the high school cross country team, and his mother phoned the coach. I felt like I needed to call and let him know that there was something a little different that he might have to contend with, you know, that. He might be a little slower. He has cerebral palsy. I said, no problem, bring him on. And, and she told me that, that, you know, he had a condition. And, and I told her, I said, don't worry, we'll take care of him. I was just really considered part of the team. Nobody looked at me weird or said, what's he doing here? Uh, they all were just like, coach, come on, let's go. Most runners take about 20 minutes to complete a 3.1 mile course. Ben needs more than twice that long, 45 minutes that rack his uncooperative body and test his spirit as he falls far behind everyone else. Ben's one of the most competitive kids I've ever seen. You, you've got to be competitive to, to almost never beat anybody, to constantly try to beat your time. And that's what Ben wants to do. He wants to beat his time. It's sometimes hard to keep going when I'm all by myself. I get nervous sometimes out on courses that what's going to happen if I fall and can't get up again or if something happens, what am I going to do? Because I do sometimes get lonely. But as Ben would continue to run, he found that he was not alone that some competitors who had already completed the course and others who care about him were coming back to run with him. I feel very, very blessed to know that everybody's so willing to, to 
come back because I know they're all tired because they've already run their race. I just feel happy knowing that they're willing to be there and they're watching out for me. They would cheer him on and they would help him up the times when he would fall. My head, my head. Every time he falls, my heart stops until I see that he gets back up and he keeps on going. I worry a little bit that he's, he's gonna get hurt. I know that it's gonna affect his, his race time for the day because he, he, it discourages him more than it hurts him. Is it hard for you to see him fall now though? Yes, but I never let anybody know it. it it's tough. Just seeing a kid that, that's that motivated, that, that wants it so bad, it gets you pretty emotional. I, I've had to admit, and I've never admitted to anybody, I, I've shed a tear. Amid the gathering dusk towards the end of this course, Ben falls again. <laughs> He gets to his feet, and then his three siblings, Megan, Alex, and Chris, accompany him as he pushes himself to the finish. A wave of exhaustion just, it hits like a, a brick wall right at the end along with the pain. Everything that should have hurt two and a half miles ago from the falls, that's when it, it kicks in. All that can cloud this moment is the knowledge that, as a senior, Ben has just one cross-country race left. What are you going to miss most about it? Being part of the team, having all my friends there. In his final competition, the regional championship, which his school hasn't won since 1993, Ben must once again contend with uneven terrain that can make him trip or slip. Come on, Ben! Go, Ben! Go, Ben! Go, ben! Come on, Ben, you're looking at 41! As Ben crosses the finish line comes the realization that for the first time all year, he has broken 41 minutes. He broke it. 41. Broke it. It's pretty official, Ben. Go congratulate the team. Oh, <laughs> and after he gets cleaned up, Ben Coleman stands at the end of his high school career, before his family and rivals, and among his teammates, just as he always dreamed he would, not as the special one, not as the different one, but as a winning one, a member of the Hannah Yellow Jackets, champions of their region. <laughs> through a childhood challenged by others' constraints, through five years of cross-country practice and competition, Ben Coleman has been running all his life, not from something, but towards something. And in some ways, he has finally gotten there. What did running give you that you wouldn't have gotten any other way? Gave me a place to belong. A place I could say that I'm supposed to be.